everyone, I'm teacher Christelle and I'll be discussing the topic number one which is the kitchen department. This is a prerequisite on the online test before you proceed to the different competencies. So ito yung prerequisite doon sa online test na offer na free ng test bago tayo makapunta sa iba't ibang competency. So please watch until the end of the video because this was adapted or the content of this um, lecture was adapted in the online test. So this is very useful for you to be ready on the different assessment or the first assessment doon sa online test. So hoping that you will watch this video until the end. Okay, so let's start. The topic is the kitchen department. So it is very important for any kitchen stop to first and foremost understand the workplace. So it's really um, mahalaga na kailangan nating malaman kung ano ba at dapat nating maintindihan kung ano yung place na pagtatrabuhan natin. In this case, the kitchen, of course, the kitchen as you as kitchen staff should be familiar on the different organizational structure of the kitchen and or the hierarchy kitchen hierarchy yung pagkasunod-sunod sino ba yung nasa top sino ba yung pagre-report natin why this will help you to find out who sino kung saan tayo magre-report so, hindi basta-basta say, for example, you want to report with these people and then you go with him or her. So, hindi ganon. So, meron tayong tinatawag na hierarchy kasi merong mga may mas mataas and yung pagkasunod-sunod. Additionally, you should also understand your general duties and responsibilities as a kitchen staff. So, this will help you and guide you kung ano ba yung responsibility mo depending on your position. Okay? So, on what section in you in the department you are assigned to work. Mahalaga ito. Kasi hindi po pwedeng yung trabaho mo or trabaho ng iba ay gagawin mo rin. O, ba nga, sa, sa hugot, bakit ba tayo napapagod parati? Kasi, inaako natin lahat. Which is wrong. In the kitchen department, you should know what is really your responsibilities or your task or your work. These responsibilities must be observed to be able to succeed and to serve efficiently in the cookery industry. So, yung pagsunod ng responsible natin, yung pag-observe kung ano yung dapat natin gawin, ito yung makakatulong for us para maging isang successful sa cookery industry. Okay, so yung topic natin, the unit itself also covers basic kitchen tools and equipment, basic measurement, safety standards, basic knife skills, and several culinary terms. But then, I'll be discussing those uh, I have mentioned sa next video. It's because I'll be focusing tonight yung about sa um, organizational structure. Kasi those are very important. Okay, these fundamentals aim to fully equip you to become familiar, familiarized and knowledgeable to the common skills and language used in the kitchen. Okay, these are essential things to learn before practicing food preparation. So, ito yung pinaka-basic talaga we should know the kitchen department. Okay. So, do you have any question? So, if not, we'll go to the organizational structure. Ano ba yung tinatawag nating organizational structure? So, uulitin ko, dito natin makukita yung iba't ibang mga positions uh, na pagkasunod-sunod. And therefore, doon malalaman mo kung ano yung work mo, kung kanino ka mag-report. So, pati iba't ibang klase ng organizational structure. So, Yung, yung discussion about doon, magagawa din ako ng video about the organizational in line with the organizational management. But then, dito, we're focusing on the kitchen department only. 
Okay, the kitchen is organized in such a way that each, each and every stop is assigned rules and allocated tasks for maximum efficiency. The kitchen is organized depending on various factors. It can depend on the nature of the dishes, depende kung anong lulutuin mo, of course, serve in the menu, kung anong klaseng establishment, kung, kung gaano ka-demand yung, yung customers through physical space and resources available. So, it depends on the restaurant, mga ganon. Nakadepende yan kung anong klase. Okay, now, this is an example Okay, the uh, organizational structure. Okay, now, the kitchen department. Ito na yun. Ano ba? Una, we have executive chef. As written there on the um, PowerPoint presentation, executive chef oversees all production in the kitchen, controlling quality, hiring, managing, controlling costs, meeting quotas and coordinating departments. So, in short, si executive chef, siya yung operation. Siya yung nag-hire. Siya yung, siya yung, yung nagko-control ng cost ng halaga, ng mga kota sa isang araw, at nakikipag-coordinate sa ibang department. Sabi ko nga, it depends on the restaurant. Okay. So, number two, we have so chef. So chef. Okay, so anyway, at the end of this video, I'll, I'll try to attach some or some of the proper pronunciations ng mga, um, ng mga different positions dito. Kasi most of the, the positions under kitchen department is para siyang, uh, it's not parang, it's French word. So, some of the pronunciation, my, I mean, my pronunciation is not perfect. So, yeah, attach ko doon para ma-practice ninyo, okay? It's really uh, good for us to know the real and the, the right pronunciation of the different, uh, different uh, department, I mean position in the kitchen department. Okay, go back to the discussion. We have so chef. Yung pangalawa, it supervises food production and oversees services such as a operational management guest satisfaction, human resources, sales and revenue finances. So, therefore, si so chef, siya yung nagsusupervise or um, hinimake sure niya na ang food production at services ay makamit ng, ng guest na satisfied sila. So, of course, uh, when you're talking about guest satisfaction, yung hindi yung nagustuhan lang, but satisfied talaga yung customer. Okay. So, next, we have chef, guard, manger. So, I don't know what is the real pronunciation, but guard, manners, yata yan, guard. You can check out on the end of the video. Okay. Also known as the pantry chef. So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng pantry? So, this includes the cold food. Ano ba yung mga cold food na sinasambit or, or sinasabi natin sa cookery? We have the appetizer, cold food yan. The salads and the sandwiches. But then, itong position na to, uh, this includes, this, I mean, this not includes yung mga cake. Kasi diba cold foods din yung cake but then pastry yun. So, iba namang position yun. Iba ang gumagawa nun. Okay, so next tayo, butcher chef butcher they are in charge of the butcher shop they prepare meats fish and poultry so from the word butcher diba yun naman talaga ang ginagawa niya so he or she is preparing for the meat and fish and also the poultry so if you look into yung apat na to na nasa slides natin they have the different responsibilities and work as the chef or or yung position na yon. So, on the next slide, marami pang mga iba't ibang position. So, let's try to look into. Okay, next. Pastry chef. Okay, anong work niya? He or she is responsible for both hot and cold dessert. Therefore, ano ba yung hot and cold? Number one, example is my favorite cake. Okay, pastries, ice cream. So, lahat siya, siya yung, um, 
gumagawa. Okay? He or she is making sure of it that the the hot and cold desserts are are in good quality and of course the safety and hygiene hygiene procedures ng paggawa para ito naman yung main actually main main objective din minsan na dapat um yung kumakain ng ating linuluto o ginagawa ay safe na kakainin ng ating mga customer. Okay, so next villager also known as the soup cooks. So therefore, from the word soup cooks, siya yung nagpo-provide or nagluluto ng mga soups. They are responsible in preparing soups and stocks. So sila yung nagpo Of course, if your restaurant is offering a complete meals, there should be a soups and stocks, di ba? So, eto, uh, sila yung gumagawa or nagluluto. So, next, intermediate, also known as the vegetable cooks. They are responsible in preparing vegetables, potato, eggs, coronaceous dishes. So, yung intermediate, um, sila naman yung nagluluto ng mga vegetables. Okay. Poisonier, also known as fish cooks. Okay, going back on the uh, previous slides, meron din si Butcher. Pag sabihin, siya lang yung nagkakat ng mga fish, mga ganun. Pero si Poisoner, siya yung uh, nagluluto ng mga fish. He or she is um, major in cooking all fish courses or, or all fish dishes. Okay, next. So, sirs, they are responsible in preparing all sauces, sauce-related dishes. So, yung mga uh, kung ang restaurant ay, ay nagsaserve ng mga pagkain na kailangan ng sauces or any sauce-related dishes, so si saucers ang gumagawa ng mga sauce. Okay. Next slide tayo, which is chef, producer, they also known as roasting cooks. They are responsible in preparing braised Roasted meats and most meat dishes including deep fried food. So therefore, makikita nyo sila nagpiprito o kaya nag-grill ng mga food. Next, we have savory cooks also known as the grill cooks or chef grill, griller giant. So, eto din, uh, makikita mo uh, nag-iihaw. Next, we have banquet chef. They are responsible in preparing food of banquet functions and buffet. So, she, si Banquet Chef, okay, so makikita mo siya, in charge siya sa pag-prepare ng mga food during function hall. Function, I mean. Okay, so what do we mean by function? Ito yung mga events like weddings, mga ganon, like uh, debu, mga ganyan. Okay, so next, Chef Tornants. Ano ba yung Chef Tornants? Multi-skilled cooks who can fit into any job specific chef when section chefs are not present. Say, for example, absent si savory cooks or si saw chef or, or sino pa ba? Si, si banquet chef or absent si chef producer. Si chef turnage, dahil multi-skilled siya, kayang-kaya niyong gawin lahat. So, he or she can uh, substitute with the different uh, different chef tasks. So, kaya niya yun. Okay, next. Chef Departé. So, they are also known as the section chef. Parte means part of the section. They act as station heads and supervisors on the activities in the kitchen. So, yan. Aaligid-aligid. Titignan ka if you are doing the right thing. They are skilled in administration and carrying out the production schedules for the respective section and able to cook every dishes in the station. So, chinecheck nila kung talagang nagagawa ba ng mga different chef. Okay, last, last slide style. We have three left. Demi chef de parte takes charge in the absence of the chef de parte assist the chef parties. So, para siyang assistant ni chef de parte. So, if Si Chef de Parte ay absent. Meron si Demi Chef de Parte na magsasubstitute kay Chef de Parte. So, next, comes tayo. The, they assist the Chef de Parte for any section chef. 
So, ina-assist nila si Chef Deporte. They are divided into commies 1 and commies 2. Okay, the former being the senior. And then, of course, apprentices. They are trainees. Uh, hindi pa sila chef. Pero nagtitrain sila. So, nandun din sila sa day-to-day -day, uh, operations. Okay, so on the next slide, you will see an example of organizational structure. Kung ano ba yung, yung, uh, sino ba yung mas mataas among all of them. So, bakit kailangan nating malaman? For you to know who to report to, uh, who to ask for, mga ganon. Okay. Okay, if you can see on the last slides, we have the executive chef, siya yung pinakamataas. Si executive sous chef, okay. Of course, si sous chef, and then si chef de party. So, kung napapansin nyo, yung organizational structure, meron siyang pa vertical and horizontal. Of course, I'll be, sabi ko nga, mag-upload ako ng other discussion about the organizational structure kasi this will be taken or tackled in the organizational management na subject. Okay, so, but then, bigyan ko kayo ng pahapyaw. So, kapag diretso siya, therefore, uh, kunyari, yung apat na si executive chef, executive so chef, so chef, chef de party, dahil may diretso siyang line, pataas, therefore, magre-report sila doon kay executive chef. Okay. So, now, meron siyang line, vertical and horizontal. So, ganun lang yun. So, meron dito, may so chef, commis, dun sa baba, uh, veggie chef, commis, apprentices, mga ganyan. So, yung organizational structure naman, it depends on the restaurant or the uh, business itself, kung anong gaano kalaki ba yung restaurant. Of course, at an example, medyo malaki. If you consider sa restaurant pa lang, meron, dun pa lang sa, I mean, dun pa lang sa kitchen, uh, very marami na siyang mga uh, position na andun. So, maraming mga nag-work, therefore, malaki yung restaurant. Okay. So, I know, um, um, marami pang mga ibang position na na um, personalized or I mean it depends on the need of the restaurant and uh, and of the services offered by that restaurant. Okay, so guys and students, uh, I hope nakatulong yung discussion natin kahit medyo mabilis babagalan to next time. Anyway, mabilis kasi talaga ako magsalita. And of course, um, sana nakatulong to kasi um, if you're really interested on enrolling on the online test da, this is very help for you or this is very useful. Kasi ito lang din yung makikita nyo doon sa e-online test da. So, at least you have your edge. So, at the end of that, um, of that topic, of course, you are ready to, to answer yung assessment. So, out of 10 yata yun. So, you need to pass yung para makapusid ka sa next topic. And, this ends my video. So, I hope you've learned and make sure na na you follow my video kasi may next topic pa ito and my daughter is seeing me <laughs> kaya see you on my next video bye ay anyway pala pahabol ito kasi yung anak ko anyway yeah, I touch ko. I'll try to attach the different uh, pronunciation of the positions I have discussed kanina. Pakinggan nyo. Ulit-ulit uh, kasi this is a French word. We're not a French. But then, we need to try to know yung real pronunciation of that. Diba? Parang hindi naman nakakahiya. Kasi, pag mag assess ka, at least, at least, alam mo yung pinagsasabi mo, ba katawanan tayo ng assessor? <laughs> Anyway, so I hope you learn again. 
See you on my next video. Basta, basta. Panoorin nyo. I mean, pakinggan nyo yung mga pronunciation. If not, I'll be attaching dun sa, dun sa link na lang. Ano, salamat! See you on my next topic. Bye! Bye!